be my viewers, I welcome you to our continuation learning series of science and mathematics education. Which subject and which topic are we looking at today? We are going to be looking at the subject physics. And what is the topic we are looking at? We are going to be looking at the topic called projectile. A very, very interesting and wonderful topic, projectile. Projectile is what we normally experience every day, but we don't take cognizance of it. Now, when a child, when a somebody threw an object into the air and it landed, that's a very good example of projectile. Or somebody playing a football, he kick a football or tennis ball, and that object is being launched into the air, it moves a thing against gravity and comes down. That's another one, projectile. So we can see that projector is what we experience day in, day out, which is what we want to talk about today. Now, what is a projector? A projectile that you have on the board is an object thrown into the air or launched into space under the influence into space and move freely by itself under the influence of gravity or air resistance. I repeat, a projector is an object thrown into the air or launched into space and move freely by itself under the influence of gravity or air resistance. So when we throw an object into the air or into space, when the object move, okay, it moves against the gravity and then what? Landed. That's what we call what? Projectile. And it tends to have a two independent motion. We have a horizontal motion and then what? The vertical motion. You can see this guy, this person, launch an object, kick a tennis ball into the air. The ball go like this, the great gravity, and then when later on, it will come down. So this is the vertical, this is the horizontal component, this is what the vertical component. So projected after to have two motion, the horizontal one and then what? the vertical one. So this is an example of projectile. Likewise, the projectile is what you can express in sports. Likewise, in warfare. In sport now, Throwing of javelin, when a javelin is being thrown into the air, it landed later, is under what? Projectile. Throwing of short puts is also under projectile. Kicking of football into the air and then landed back is also under what? Projectile. Likewise, what about in the war? In the warfare, we can also see that projectile can be found also in the war, in the warfare. Throwing of grenade. When a grenade is being thrown or a bullet is being fired now, it is under what projectile. Okay, now these are some of the way of shooting of arrow. It is also under projectile. So we can see that projectile can be experienced both in the sport and in the warfare. Okay, now having said that, what are some of the key things we have to know under this topic as well? We have what is called time of flight, the time an object used in the air and comes down. Likewise, you have the, the maximum height. Likewise, you have called the, the range. Let's take them one by one. The first one called one, time of flight. This is the time required for it to return to the same level from which it was projected. So if you throw an object now, it goes and then comes down. So the going and coming down, the time take is called time of flight. Okay, and it has a formula of T is equal to 2U sin theta g. What is u? u is initial velocity. The velocity which the object moved with when it was being thrown to the air. So u is velocity. Theta is the angle of project, 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 projection where your g is what? Gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. So this is formula of calculating what? Time of flight. What about the second one? Maximum height. H. The maximum height. This is the highest vertical distance. The highest vertical distance reach as measured from the horizontal projection. So the highest maximum height or the highest height. So this is called the, uh, the maximum height. Okay, capital H. And the formula of calculating the maximum height is what? U square, sine square, sine square theta, all over 2G. As usual. Your U is your initial velocity, and your theta is your angle of projector. Okay, what about the range? 
the range, this is the horizontal distance from the point of projection to the point at where the projection hit the projection plane again. So the time taken from here now to where it landed is R, is called what? The range. This is the horizontal distance from the point of projection to where it landed again. So from here to here is what? Tends to be the range R. Okay. Now, I've said that. So you can see our theta here. Our theta here is the angle of projectile. Your U is your initial velocity. So you can see it has two components vertical component and then horizontal components. So that's what we are saying. I've said that. Let us now look at a typical question. Example of underworld projectile. Here we have to give us a question. A tennis ball is hit with a velocity of 50 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. Okay, the last step we should find the time of the flight to maximum height reach and then what three the range giving us our g acceleration due to gravity as usual as a 10 meter per second square. So let's go over how do we solve the question. Now solution now let's solve the question. Now we are being told the first of all calculate what we are told to calculate the time of flight and from the word from the formula i gave to us so this formula of calculating the time of flight we have we have just it t is because of 2u sine theta over g okay so when we now put all our data inside the formula we have two times what is our u our u in this case of 50 meter per second times 50 times sine theta. Our theta here is what? 30. Because angle here is what? 30 degree. All over G. Our G given is what? As I said, that is what? Is 10. We now multiply 2 times 50. 100. Times, go and check your sine 30. Sine 30 is what? 0 0.5. Sine 30 is half. All over 10. So if you multiply 10 here, 1. 10 here is 10. 10 times 0. 0.5 give us what? 5 meter. 5 seconds. Sorry. Give us 5 seconds. That is the time of the flight. So you put it there. Your U, the question is what? Is 50 velocity. You put it there. Okay. Multiply your sine 30. Where did you get your 30? That is the angle of projector. You put it there. And sine 30 is what? 0 0.5 when you check it. So final answer will give us 5 seconds. The second question, we are told to calculate the maximum height, h, maximum height. And I've given us the height. The formula of calculating height is what? u square k sine theta square sine square theta all over 2g. Okay? As usual, our u in the question is what? Is 50. Put it there. 50 squared times our sine sine squared 30. Sine squared theta rather. Now for the question, our theta is 30. So you now put it there. Our theta is what? Is 30. Sine squared 30. Okay. All over 2 times 10. Let's take it forward. Our 50 squared. 50 squared is what? 2,500. Okay. Multiply by what is our if we check our sine 30 for well, this case now go and check sine 30. We have no sine 30, you now square it. Our sine 30 is what 0 0.5. You now put this square now. Square. Once again, check sine 30 is 0 0.5. You now put this square on it. That's why I have some like you now divide by 2 times 10, 20. Okay, you now say that 250 multiply by what is 0 0.5 square? Give us what? Give us 0 0.25 divided by 20. Okay? Divided by 20. When you do your calculations, do it very well. We are going to end up 